On to race number three and the third. Back to class five here for race uh, number three. 1,200 metres the trip, headed by Sweetly Baby with the blinkers on for the first time. Drops into class five for the first time. Vital Springs, two wins today. have been over the 1,400 metres at uh, Chartin. Smart Thinker drops in class with a stable change. The One drops in class into this grade for the first time as well. Apollo's bow ran last week, gets the blinkers uh, back on. Got Show Mission, also ran last week behind uh, Windsor. It's the same race as Apollo's bow. And down to Tiger Lad from barrier number three. He's first up since June for Tony Millard and Alexi Bedell. The one is the one that's been up at uh, Chung Fra, the class dropper for Mee Choi and Karis Tietenmark. We've got a good speed here to Andrew with fantastic Fabio gaining, gaining the start in the race, meaning the, the speed is going to be even more genuine. Apollo's bow winning warrior, fantastic Fabio three up. Roman Odyssey, Tiger Lad, the big winner from that. Chung Wah Jing Shen, now he's gone forward in trials in the past, expected to be midfield. Sweetly Baby, Smart Thinker Spicy, really the one show mission on the backup and Vital Spring. Paul, the last two. And here is Vital Spring as well. Look, uh, he's a well rated horse. He's an eight year old now, though. Just a two time winner from his 35 starts, but one of them was fresh. And he moves nicely enough down the back straight with uh, Vincent Ho aboard and uh, goes comfortably here. Smart thinkers. Work's been really good leading into this. Uh, he seems to have matured. He's been here for a while. The blinkers, the, the cross nose band will come off. The tongue tie will go on. And he's changed stables. Uh, Zach Curtin will take them out from barrier one. He'll get his opportunity. And Spicy really uh, does it nicely under a decent hold here as well. Still a maiden from his 13 starts and uh, so far. But uh, look, he does it comfortably. and uh, He looks like he's quite forward for a run as well. All right, OK, there's the track work. Let's have a look at some of the trials then. Starting off with Sweetly Baby. So he takes this drop in class, gets the blinkers on, gets Joe Moreira on as well. But, Mark, he does come up with barrier 12. He does indeed and has 133 pounds on his back. Seven starts yet to run in the money. Helena Baby's the horse that's blasted right through the centre there. It was a rainy morning, which Helena Baby would have loved, Paul. He's going to write in the trial, Sweetly Baby, but yet to place in seven, always a concern. Yeah, big weight and the wide draw. Look, he was... I, I had him in the numbers originally. I, I ended up uh, shoving him down the order a little bit, sweetly, baby. But he is an interesting runner with those blinkers on. OK, smart thinker. Another class drop. And now taking the blinkers off, smart thinker. Gets a tongue tie. Zach Purton jumps on board from an inside gate, Paul. Yeah, and no, I've liked his work leading into this race. You can see him just sort of bursting through and winning this trial as well. He'll get barrier number one. He should get the best run in the race. So... Look, I'm going to take a chance with him. Uh, he hasn't done too much uh, so far from his six starts, but uh, he has been here for a season now. Given a really strong 100 metre hit out from the two to the 100 metres, and the horse on the inside in the red and white that he ran past Andrew is fantastic. Fabio, which is now in the field. Yeah, and Smart Thinkers come for his early favourites um, as well. What about Chung Wa Jin Sen? Let's hear from jockey Blake Shin. Blake Chung Wa Jin Shen, he's still a maiden from nine starts here in Hong Kong, but the way that he ran when you rode him last time out, is he finding form? Look, I, I hope so. I think that was a good indication that he's, you know, getting close to a win. He hit the line strongly and, and went down narrowly. Um, you know, he feels a horse that's certainly capable in this class, so hopefully tomorrow night he can get his, get his first victory on the board. In that race last time out, you had to change course on a couple of occasions in the straight. Was he a little unlucky? Possibly, yes. Um, you know, throughout the race, everything went to script uh, nicely. I was able to um, get him to settle beautifully because that's been a, a, a thing that uh, Mr Ho wanted uh, the horse to do um, in his race when I rode him is to really settle. He's a horse that can go quite keenly, um, but he switched off nicely. Uh, and when the run came, there was just a little bit of um, waywardness from the other runners, and that's why I had to change my course. But um, you know, when the margins are so narrow, any little bit of um, interference can cost you, and that certainly did on that occasion. More recently, how was his trial and how's his work been? His trial was um, satisfactory. Um, I don't say it was, um, you know, excellent. I, I put him under a bit of pressure and he, he, he went OK. But he's quite a big uh, gross horse, and I think that uh, trial will top him off nicely, and uh, I'm hopeful of a positive run. And he's one of four rides that you've got tomorrow night. Do you go to the races feeling like you can crack it for your first winner for the season? Geez, I hope so. Um, yeah, look, it's certainly the best book of rides that I've had um, this season. Uh, I think all, all four of my rides are, are capable. But as we know in Hong Kong racing, it, it's very competitive. Uh, you need a lot of luck to go your way in, in the races. Um, but all of my horses appear to be going well. And if the luck's on my side tomorrow night, I think we can get, out, get, get on the board. 
Oh, he's in the market, third favourite at this stage. Uh, Port Smart Thinker, he, he's come up short considering what he's achieved so far, but you quite like him too. Yeah, I quite like him as well. I just like on the back of his work and his trials, what I've seen so far this season. So happy to uh, put him on top to beat uh, Chunghua Jiangshin. We just heard there from Blake, and it was a good run at the back end of the season. Tiger Lad's got a nice draw. He should get a, a really good run. And then the old boy, Vital Spring, in there for fourth. Four, six, 12, and two. With the 12, Tiger Lad. Beautifully drawn down in barrier number three. Ran second from gate two. A couple of starts ago over the 1,200 here at Happy Valley. Alexi Vidal and Tony Millard carries no weight. 114 pounds. Perfect spot he's likely going to get himself into. Four smart thinker in for second. Given a very strong hit out in that trial. Vital spring to run third. He's won first up in the past. That was over 1,400 off a rating 40. He's now rated 37. And I threw Sweetly Baby in just with the Joe and Casper factor. Despite barrier 12 on the class drop. He's got the blinkers on for the first time. 12-4-2. It was the one or the six, but the one ended up being in the top four. A bit from column A, a bit from column B for me. I was going to tip Flying Monkey, but he was scratched. So uh, Vital Spring, by default, gets the win here now for uh, Francis Loy and Vincent Ho. That was the first leg of the six at race number three. Uh, next for us is the fourth. It's the first leg of the Triple Trio.